See, today I was in central Damascus in an area named Midan, which has been really popular with, with anti-government protests in, in the past few weeks. And um, just, just, as we were, just as we left the mosque and we gathered up with other protesters from different areas, the numbers were about 5,000 people. Uh, then suddenly buses started pulling up, about six, seven buses pulled up in, in front of us. Uh, people, uh, there, there were security forces and, and people who were actually wearing plain clothes with AK-47s and, and heavy artillery. They, they started firing at, at the protesters, firing randomly at people. Uh, I personally saw at least three people who were, who were thrown to the floor by, by bullets, and then, and then we, no one was able to, no one was able to, to go anywhere near them. Um, did the police, people, people, did the police at that point arrest demonstrators? How yes. far how far apart were these groups? Uh, the, the, okay, the protesters were actually all together. As soon as the, the, the gunfire started, uh, the protest was dispersed and people started running into back alleys. Uh, the security forces didn't stop then. They continued firing and chasing the, the protesters. Uh, at least 200 people were, were, were detained. And, and beaten brutally before before being taken onto the buses. Some people be passing out before even getting onto the bus. Uh, people were being chased like animals in the street. And to be honest, in, in Damascus, in central Damascus, this is this hasn't happened before. This is usually happening in the suburbs, in places where 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 it's not that sensitive. But Damascus, being the capital, being sensitive, this doesn't usually happen. So it was unexpected. But Alexander, the crucial question here, this was a day when the Syrian opposition said, you're killing us with your silence. They wanted other people to come out. What did you hear in terms of expressions of determination? Do people, does everyone want to see this regime uh, be brought down? Or are they looking to see compromise? No, no, definitely. Every, every, everyone in Syria wants to see this regime down. It's, uh, it's only people who profit from the regime that don't want to see that. But, but to be honest, 70% of this country is terrified from, from, from heading to the streets because they know that they could be shot, they could be detained. If, if, if you've been detained, that's worse than being shot in Syria because what, what's going to happen is they're going to torture you and they're going to go to, to your family and then they're going to raid your, your house. So, so being shot is an, an, an easier way out. But um, as I said, people, people are just terrified. And the call today was that your silence is killing us, basically means the people who haven't head out to the street and also the international community that the Syrian people feel that haven't, haven't given enough support to Syria. Not meaning international in intervention, but actually meaning more support in, in, in terms of in terms of actually spreading what's happening in Syria in, 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 a, in a more widespread way. Alexander Page, journalist, reporting with us there live uh, on the line from Damascus, Syria. Large protests in the heart of the capital.